Hi beauties, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time here. Happy to have you. Hope you will like, subscribe, stick around for some more content. I wanted to film a video <laughs> duh, today that I have been seeing from a lot of different creators. Now, the reason why this video um, kind of like struck a chord with me if you've been watching my content for any amount of time, I know that I am sounding like a broken record, but just in case this actually is your first time here, it's no secret that I have for quite a while just been feeling incredibly uninspired by my eyeshadows, particularly my palettes. And it's not the first time this has happened. I go through, I don't know, like my makeup tastes and how I like to do my makeup, uh, particularly my eyes, and you know, how much time and energy I want to spend on eye looks. It just goes in cycles, you know? Sometimes I'm really, really inspired and I want to use all my palettes and do really colorful looks. And then times like now, I am, I'm just uninterested in eyeshadow palettes. Um, Nothing really seems like new or excites me anyway. So I've been doing, I've been trying to think of ways to like get myself interested in them again. And I know I can't be the only person that does this, but I'll find myself like sitting and watching TV and just like swatching my eyeshadow palettes <laughs> just to get another look at them, like remember how beautiful they are. Cause I have some really, really beautiful things in my collection and I just don't get use from some of them. There are some palettes in my collection as I was kind of the last time I was looking through them that I still haven't even used. And I bought over a year ago, a year and a half. So it's just, it's overwhelming sometimes. It's just overwhelming. There's so many of them. There's so many choices. So anyway, the video that this is, is just if you could only keep one eyeshadow palette from each brand. Now, I don't have like a massive, massive collection of eyeshadow palettes. So I only have about 12 or 13 brands here that I have multiple palettes from which is still a lot, yes. Um, but, so we're just gonna run through that. Whichever brands I have multiple palettes of, I wrote down and I just picked which ones I would wanna keep if I had to get rid of the other ones. So, with that being said, the first brand on my list is Give Me Glow. I have three of their palettes. I have the Vintage Rose, the Vivid Rose, and I have the Christmas Morning Palette. If I had to pick just one, it would be the Vintage Rose. I love her. This is in my, um, I actually pulled this into my Shop My Stash. Currently, um, I love this palette. There's so much of this that is just like me and a color story. I love, like, I am an absolute sucker for anything like rose gold, copper rose, bronzy rose, like any of those colors. I just love this thorn shade is gorgeous. I mean, I just, I love Give Me Glow as a brand. I think they're, they just really do color stories well. I love the formula of both their mattes and shimmers. Their shimmers are just like super foiled and wet and lovely. So I would definitely keep this even though the other two palettes like the Christmas Morning and the Vivid Rose are probably a little bit more unique to my collection. Just I'm thinking in, like in terms of color story they would probably offer a little bit more than something like this but that means that this is obviously a little bit more practical and I would get more use out of this. So that it is. 
The next brand is Vive, and I have two Vive palettes. I have the, her first one, the Essential palette, and then I have the Muse palette. This was actually really tough because um, I really love both of those palettes and I love Jamie Genevieve. I love, I actually love every Vive product that I have tried and she has come out with a lot of new things that I am dying to try. I've heard really good things about her new palette, her concealer, um, her new lipsticks. Well, she's had lipsticks, new shades, you know what I mean. But the palette I picked is her Essential palette. So the original palette that her brand came out with, I think this was actually, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this was actually like the very first thing that the brand launched, right? I can't remember. Anyway, it's just beautiful. It's such a good mixture of warm and cool toned neutrals. The formula is wonderful. I know there was kind of, people had some gripes about the shimmers in here. I think because they're maybe not like the most high impact, like they're definitely not the same impact as the Give Me Glow shimmers. These are just kind of like a more traditional, like softer, is that the right word? They're just regular old shimmers, right? I don't know if that makes sense. They're just, they're pretty. They're not multidimensional. They're not like foiled or anything like that, but they're still really, really pretty on the eyes. And I have, I honestly love, I love what I create every time I use this palette. So it had to be that. The next brand was NARS. Again, I only have two palettes from NARS. I have their summer one from last year and then their summer one from this year of the two the summer release from 2021 which is summer solstice is definitely my favorite i mean first of all the packaging is lovely i know i'm probably blinding you but this color story is just i just love it it's a color story that is so simple to use like you don't have to think about putting a look together with this palette everything works well together there are different textures of shimmers you have like real smooth sort of silky satin type shimmers right there hopefully you can see that and then you also have more textured shimmers you know more more glittery type shimmers so I appreciate that. Again, I love every time I use this palette, I, I get something beautiful. Okay, next is Flower Beauty. I have two Flower Beauty palettes. I have both of their foiled palettes, the Jungle Lights and the Desert Lights. They're both stunning. And this was actually hard. <laughs> but again, I had to go with the original. I had to go with Jungle Lights. Now, Okay, so let me open it up so you can actually see it here. You probably had a glare. So long story, well, not really a long story, but story with this one. This is the second one that I have purchased. So about a year or so ago, I was filming a video such as this. I was going to put my palettes back. I dropped this. The purple shade, there should be, you can probably tell a little bit, but there's normally like a really deep, beautiful purple right here it shattered so I immediately that same day reordered it this is the new one and then I dropped it again and then just that same exact shade broke now if I'm being honest that shade is probably my least used in the whole palette so I don't think I'm gonna order it again. Like, I think this is it for me. I'm gonna just use this one with these five shades now. But y'all, these jewel toned, foiled, metallic shadows from the drugstore, I say this all the time, are legitimately like better 
than a lot of way more expensive palettes. Like, I say this too, but every time I use this palette, like, I get asked what I'm wearing. I get complimented on my eye looks. Like, these shades are just, they're so incredibly beautiful on the eyes. Like, cannot recommend this palette enough. This olive green makes brown eyes pop. Like, it's gorgeous. This, again, here's like a coppery rose color I love. This is my favorite shade in the whole, whole palette. This wild color, it's like a, it's almost like a silvery lavender taupe. Like, it's, it's incredible. Flower Beauty is always running sales, too. So, this is worth every cent. Hey! Patrick Ta is the next brand. I have both of his Major Dimension palettes, one and two. This one was kind of hard too. However, I had to give it to Major Dimension one just because, I, I mean, it's my favorite. <laughs> so it's my favorite of the two. I have used it the most out of the two. It's, as much as I love the tones in that other palette because I told you I am a sucker for like rosy golds and there are some really really pretty ones in there this is just like this is everything this palette is everything I need I I just love it. Like, I'm not going to harp on too much about it because this palette makes just about every palette video that I've ever done since I got it. The cream shadows are beautiful. I've used them as liners. I've used them as base shadows underneath the mattes, underneath the shimmers. The creams blend beautifully. They are not like, they're not like too greasy. I don't have issues with creasing with them. I mean, all of these shimmers are, again, they're not like the most, they're not the most like foiled, multi-dimensional shadows that you're gonna see, but they're gorgeous. And there's something about them that just really elevates your eye look. Like, it just makes your eyelids look like glass, like the light hits your eye and it's just, it's just beautiful. I know this is a more expensive palette. If and when he has sales, I can't recommend this one enough either. It's, it's just that beautiful. And I think I am actually pretty close to hitting pan in this shimmer here. This is my favorite, favorite shimmer. Everything looks good layered too. You can layer the shimmers. I mean, just love it. Okay. Natasha Denona. So this one was hard. When I originally made this list, I chose the retro palette only because I did not have this at that time. This kicked Retro's ass, okay? Don't get me wrong, I love the Retro palette. I still love it, but this My Dream palette is so good. Um, I have really only seen good reviews about this palette. I'm sure there's people out there that don't like it. I mean, understandably, to each their own, but this palette is is everything I wanted it to be, everything I hoped it would be. The colors are like, they just make sense. Again, this is a palette that I don't really have to think too much about to make a look. Everything works well with everything else. Um, now the retro is still one of my favorite color stories, but the main reason that this one beat out the retro is because it's less pink leaning than the retro and pinks aren't typically like my favorite colors to wear. They work well within the retro palette, but 
these types of shades are are just much more my style and plus you get plus you get this beautiful like trio chrome shadow in here so again definitely worth the coin in my opinion if you like Natasha Denona's formula I know her formula is not it's not for everybody. Next brand is ColourPop, which I think probably everybody has multiple palettes from. Um, this one was difficult just in the sense that I'm really not all that attached to like any of my ColourPop palettes. I could probably get rid of them all and be fine. But for the sake of this video, the one that I do really enjoy, I think the color story is super unique to my collection anyway, certainly not unique to ColourPop, is the Tinkerbell Sprinkle Little Magic Palette. I love the packaging. You have a beautiful mirror inside here. And then again, like the color story just is lovely. I don't have a, a ton of greens and these greens I feel like are done kind of in a more sophisticated way. Um, especially with some of these other tones mixed in, like these kind of pinky browns. You have this deeper green. Yeah, anyway, I just think that this palette is well balanced. You know, it's it certainly is, it's going to be green heavy, but I love the other tones in here that they've used to balance things out. I love the addition of these more neutral mattes. I love these other shimmers, the gold and this darker brown. It's just, I think it's a really well done palette. Next, again, if you've been here with me, you're not gonna be surprised by this. Um, the next brand is Morphe. I only have two Morphe palettes. I have the original Jaclyn Hill. I used to have Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. I decluttered that a while ago. And I have the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals. I'm keeping the original Jaclyn Hill. I mean, obvi, right? I just feel like, <laughs> Again, I know that I sound like a broken record, but I still love the shit out of this palette. I think that the formula is still good. It still works great for me. I had this in my stash last rotation. I just get a lot of use out of it whenever whenever it's in rotation. I think that it's just well done. It's well done and I can't seem to bring myself to get rid of it. I don't know, it just feels like a little piece of like YouTube history, of makeup history. It just kind of reminds me of like a, a certain time or era in my life and I just like it. I, I really do genuinely like it. Next brand is ABH. I have, I think I only have three ABH palettes at this point. I have Norvina, Jackie Ina, and Carly Bible. This was hard. It was definitely between the Norvina and Jackie Ina. I'm actually wearing Jackie Ina on my eyes today, but I had to go. I had to go with Norvina in case, I mean, I'm sure you know what it looks like, but this is just one of my favorite palettes, probably of all time, you guys, like of any palette that I've ever used in my makeup life. This is one of my favorites. And I know like the ABH formula isn't even the best formula out there. I think it's fine. It works well, but there is just something about this palette that has a hold on me. Like, again, I think it sort of reminds me of a different time in my life. I wore this palette on my wedding day. This is the second time this is my second Norvina palette. I actually panned almost the whole entire palette when I originally got it. So I repurchased it and I just love it. I just absolutely love right. it. BH Cosmetics. BH, I was actually surprised how many palettes I had from them. I have three of the, what was that collection? The ice cream collection that everybody went crazy about. Was it last summer? Yeah. I have three of those palettes, but if I'm being honest with myself, they're really brightly colored. I don't reach for them all that often. The palette that I had to pick that, I mean, just honestly is my favorite is the BFF palette. 
It has a gorgeous, gorgeous big mirror in here, which I have totally smudged up. But this palette is so perfect and it's so versatile and the formula is wonderful. And I mention this every time I talk about this palette, but one of my most favorite makeup looks that I've ever done, I created with this palette with like these periwinkle shades here. This shade, Messy, is really, really pretty. It almost reminds me of the shade I have on my lids today, the sponsored shade in the Jackie Ina palette. But, oh, I mean, I just, I love just even looking at this palette. It's so, 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 so pretty. Yeah, love it. I would definitely keep this one. So my Pat McGrath palettes are next. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five Pat McGrath palettes, I believe. I have two holiday palettes, two of the mega whatever palettes, the Starship, or I don't even know, you know, her palettes. And then I have one quad. You can probably guess, again, if you've been here, which palette I'm going to keep. This was actually, this was actually hard. It was a toss up between this and the Interstellar Icon quad I have, which is perfect, which is a perfect quad. But again, I just was kind of thinking about palettes that if I only could keep one, palettes that I would like get the most use out of. And so... For me, it's this. It is her Celestial Divinity, which was her holiday 2020 palette, I believe. But you guys, you just, you know how much I love this. You know how much I love this palette. I know it's not, it is not everybody's favorite, but I actually mentioned, mentioned this the last time I talked about it, but this is this is just an easy palette for me. This color story makes sense. I know there's only three mattes in here, but all of the mattes work well with the shimmers. All of the shimmers work well together. I love layering the shimmers in here. I just, like, I just love this palette. I love, I mean, purples and mauves and, like, these kind of these kind of shimmers that have almost like a almost like a brown or neutral base and then like a cool flip to them like a blue or a purple or a green are just like I am a sucker for those shades and I just I love that I love this palette I love it I would not want to have to say goodbye to it so i'm keeping her next brand is juvia's place i used to have quite a few juvia's place palettes now if i'm being truthful i just i don't get excited about juvia's place i have not used my juvia's palettes in so so long like for that reason. I only have two of them left. I decluttered all of them. I have the Warrior and then I have the Magic Mini palette, which these are both, they're both palettes that I like. Juvia's formula is again, okay. Like it works, but I don't, I don't really understand why every, like everybody was so obsessed with Juvia's place for a while. I mean, again, maybe it's because like it's drugstore, it's very affordable, the formula is good, the shimmers, I don't think were like anything that we had at the drugstore at the time, but I don't know. I don't understand fully really what the hype was, but the palette that I would keep is the Warrior. And I know it's boring. <laughs> it's boring. It's just a neutral palette, but... Again, every time I use this palette, I, I really love the looks I get. I mean, I have a light shade to set my lid. I have a nice like transition shade. I have a deepening shade. And then all the shimmers are beautiful. Like the shimmers really, really are pretty. They are high quality for drugstore price. So 
this is the one out of the two that I would get the most use out of. Final brand is Kaleidos. I have three Kaleidos palettes left. I have decluttered, I think, I think almost just as many, either two or three in the last year or so. Now, this one, I kind of went the opposite direction. As I was looking at all of my Kaleidos palettes, I was like, mm, they're all pretty unique color stories. So, you know, let's pick one that would kind of add the most to my collection, like something that would be unique. And it is the Flower Punk palette. This is a palette that, again, is in my stash right now, my rotation, but how beautiful is this palette and the packaging is just so it comes apart again you have a nice mirror it's magnetic you can I just kind of slide it up like I just did when I use it you can take it off turn the mirror around I wish the mirror like stuck on it or something so you could set it like this and do your makeup but you can't do that but yeah I have I've only used this palette, I think like twice since I got it. Um, I did, I actually used it yesterday. I did a really, really beautiful look with the greens. I layered the green shimmer and the blue shimmer, which was so pretty. Um, but Kaleidos Formula is wonderful. I think they're just a really unique indie brand. I think they just, they curate such such unique color stories and then beyond that I mean the packaging is it just feels luxe and it's it's just creative it's innovative all of the packaging like their futurism palettes the ones that are kind of trifold that you open this packaging the escape pod the club nebula I just I don't know I just think they're they're a really really cool indie brand and I like their I like their style I like their vision so I would keep the flower punk and that's it those are all the brands that I have multiple palettes from let me know I've been thinking about doing a video just kind of highlighting palettes that are kind of like my one-off palettes palettes like just <laughs> I'm explaining that right does that make sense like <laughs> palettes that I only have one of, brands that I only have one palette from. It's early, you guys, I'm sorry. You know what I mean. Kind of the opposite of this video. So let me know. I think I've seen some videos like that. If that's something you would like to see, I would be happy to film it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like beauty content, if you like, you know, shop my stashes, get ready with me is random videos like this sprinkled in subscribe give me a like like i said it means a lot that you're here that you spend time with me i would love to see you next time but until then take care of yourselves and take care of each other beauties